I think one of the things students appreciate the most is that I make my class very interactive. Um, from the beginning of the term, I tell them that the learning is not a ping pong where it goes back and forth between me and the students. It's more like a volleyball where they discuss things amongst themselves and we learn from each other. Um, I act more as a facilitator than as a lecturer, um, and I tell them that the best way to learn is really from us learning from each other. And the way I make that uh, enforced is really I have a, a participation grade. So I include both an online participation where they uh, participate in a Facebook discussion group and also an in-class participation. Um, and that makes it a little bit more interactive. Um, I find the other thing students really like about my teaching style is I'm really informal. Um, so although there's a barrier between faculty and students, I try to make it as if we're talking on an equal level. And it empowers students to be able to talk to each other rather than talk back and forth to me. Um, and it makes the learning experience a little bit more interesting as well. Um, the other thing I do is I really encourage students to debate and discuss. So every issue that we bring up in class, I have several discussion questions that we talk about in the class. We do small group activities, and we also have students participating online in a discussion forum um, where they talk about all those issues and what's important to them. And I bring in what's in the discussion forum into the classroom. So for example, if a student posts uh, something on Facebook, what I do is I basically bring up an article, for example, that's relevant um, in the class, and I have that student talk about it, and then we talk about it as a class. It makes the class a little bit more relevant and a little bit more current as well, and it keeps them really engaged. There's a few things I do. Um, one of the things that I find to make it very engaging and interesting is I incorporate a lot of case studies. And in those case studies, I have students act as if they're the manager in charge and I have them do debates on those case studies. I make them do small group discussions and also have a case analysis. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is I have students present a lot of the topics. So in every class, I'll have students present two or three topics, um, and they'll have a five minute presentation to educate the rest of the class. And they kind of become the subject, subject matter experts on that topic. Um, and then the students not only learn from me, but they learn from each other. Um, and in every class, I try to bring in relevant articles or news discussions uh, that are occurring in the real world. So for example, last week they had a Red Bull uh, campaign where a man jumped from the highest uh, uh, place in space and broke all the records. And we talked about the impact on social media for Red Bull. Uh, it made it a little, a little bit more relevant and interesting to the students um, based on what they're interested in. And that topic came up through the Facebook discussion group. Um, I use a variety of pedagogical approaches in my classroom. I find that every half hour to an hour, if I don't change up the type of teaching method, the students get very bored. So rather than just lecturing, I usually start my class with a lecture, um, talking about the readings from the class, the key concepts and the key terms. And then in that presentation, I incorporate a lot of relevant real life examples from companies and what they've done. And then that evolves into a discussion in the classroom. I also have the students present on an ongoing basis. So they'll present for five minutes on a concept or term. And we have three to five presenters per class. And then beyond the discussion, if, it's, if we're doing a case study, for example, we'll have them split up into small groups and do a debate or discussion. Uh, I'll also have them do interactive activities where we'll be posting, we'll have a, a, a topic on Facebook that they'll have to respond to. And this gives them a two-way dialogue, but also for the students that are not comfortable speaking in class, it allows them to, to participate in another online discussion forum. The other thing I do on, on a frequent basis is I bring in guest speakers who are industry experts who have experience working on the particular uh, topic. So for example, last week I had a class on mobile marketing and, um, and how to use social media for mobile. And I had the VP of business development for MasterCard come in to talk about their mobile marketing strategies. And what I find is when you bring in guest speakers, it creates um, a real sense for them of what, what, how it works in the real world and what companies do and how they use it effectively. And this practical approach makes it more relevant to them. Um, in terms of which of the methods are the most effective, I find usually the case discussion groups really work out really well. Um, and I find the interactive uh, discussion between the students, um, whether, whether it be a debate or in-class specific questions, really get the students more engaged and they learn from each other. I think one of the most important things is for students that are in your class, 
You want them to feel like they're an essential part of the class. So empowering them with the ability to participate and uh, be involved in the discussions and voice their opinion, and not only debate uh, between you and them, to actually challenge each other and have a discussion amongst themselves that they can learn from each other's experiences. I also find that it's really useful to bring in my own personal experiences working in marketing, uh, the specific cases I've worked on to improve their learning. Um, and lastly, I think the most important thing in the class is to make sure it's fun. And if it's fun for students and they enjoy coming to class, they're more likely to participate and, and be engaged uh, and enjoy what they're doing.